Na'Vi the edge. And Flamey, he's going to get a lot of flashbangs thrown his way. Evasive for now. Perfecto tucking in anti-flash. It's Rez to behead the first. But they're into the nitty gritty already. It's a two frag lead for both. Boomich is going to have to play passive here. Bomb is on its way towards the site. Where's that rotate? They're all coming in heaven side. And the T's are backing out from this. They're going to peel away now. Obviously lacking armor severely due to the fact they had so much util, as you highlighted. There's the flashes galore, P250s. And I guess what they've done is at least kind of put a seed of doubt in the minds of the CT side here. Yeah, and look how well it's worked. If they'd have continued, if they'd have just held W, they had three to contend with. Now, it's an unarmored boomage. If Norg's good on this Ooh. catch, that's enough to get the bomb across. It's worked well. This patience, our threat is beaming ear to ear of the fact that these guys have had the presence of mind to play it like this. And now the retake's on. Nice info on the peak there. Hampus has seen at least two. And this is a shutdown. This is really good. Unless Simple can dig deep and do something dirty. And honestly, the way they're playing, no bullets. I don't know if they're going to let him. And yeah. Oh! oh! And now two left. Maybe just enough bullets to do something, but I don't see a kit. And I don't see one on the ground. Maybe I've missed it, but Run! that's it. Bullets to gun. Switch up on the P250. Done for. Hampus holds. Honestly, for NIP, it was precarious at the end. We know not to doubt the likes of Simple. It can always be deadly. They still got the job done. They did. That's a big conversion. Let's see that one again. So Boomich, he did manage to get one, but it was the fact that they paused. Simple was all the way back up towards top site. Oof. And that second shot with one bullet in the clip, he manages to find the head, keeping it competitive. And that's definitely a little bit of a warning for anybody that wants to contend with Na'Vi. The Simple's had his breakfast. He's had his bacon and eggs and whatever makes him as good as he is. Simple's off for an early party peak in the force by here in round two. That flash is enough to deter. So we are off. One thing I just quickly want to let the viewers know at home from our previous outings with NIP on this map of Overpass, one that they tend to find as their home ground, is they are thorough. Now, I'll take you back to last season when they were taking and clearing bomb sites. They would push on in. They would make sure they were clearing the truck before they would go for the plants. They were really taking their time so they couldn't be run over by exactly this, these nuanced force buys where you have to deal with so many different showings, a CZ up close, a deagle at range, a tag from a scout, and then the utility as well. So as the clock whittles down, they will slowly push through I and mean. comb the map. That's the bomb though. Oh, Simple's still on it, Kai. He's, he's flirting with the idea of long now, which obviously leaves Electronic a little more out on an island. Does that CZ show? No. Rez, playing with this idea. He's looking to check it. You were speaking about how meticulous they are, but that's a weird angle to peek. I guess you'd imagine maybe it'd be on the other side where we've seen that little setup with the scout before, but the T's taking this time, running it down. I don't I don't like very end game, late game hits. Yeah, look and at this, Electronic. I don't think you check this. You don't. And now Electronic's got a freebie, gets the gun, gets to back away. No trade in sight. Oh, rotation coming in from B as well here. 30 seconds. This is trouble. Yeah, look for the fact that Electronic has an AK now for this defense. He even finds a safe haven from the Molotov. Hampus oh. is right there. They're just staring at each oh other. My. Full flash. They need Plopsky to find it. He does connect, but I'm afraid the damage is done. Looking to stabilize was Nork. Twist could get caught with Util here. The push through the smoke is catched. Catched or caught if you're a sane human being. Bomb does go down. Just down to Perfecto and Simple and pff, make it just Perfecto. Only a Desert Eagle. Looks like NIP's thorough approach has managed to net them round two. It felt scary. I, I always get nervous on those late in the day hits, but if they are as thorough as said and they do take their time, they're meticulous in approach, the util was good. I mean, I guess a little lucky almost on site, which way the flashes went, but they kept their calm there. Yeah, it was lucky that uh, the flashes were being thrown from both sides of things. Just taking a quick look back with Skybox, there was like four or five flashes going off above that A bomb site from both teams. So there's no wonder that Hampus was sitting there next to the APC wondering what the bloody hell was going on. Here we can see NIP nice and then nice yeah, the curtain. I like it up top there. That was nice. The PC's up on the ledge. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of leg room. Kick it with my feet all Ooh, the time. I, I like Plopsky's knife. Which one's that? It's the paracord. This is my knife, oh, isn't, I like isn't it? Hey, Rush, are you with us? Can you talk to us? I think so. What's oh, up? Yeah, it's We've your knife. You. It looks nice. All right. Oh, oh, oh dear. That's a Rush Lee nade. I'm kidding. I, I'm just making stuff up. Looks um, uh, a little problematic if they commit to this because there is a stack of pistols. Lord, gotta feel like, that now, right? They've kind of sussed this one out. They can just sit at jail and duel. 
getting a little sketchy. I don't like it. Simple should get one hit if what Hampers wasn't so clean, and that is absolutely perfect. Four in the round, not letting his teammates get caught, not losing any of that armor or any of that util. And so they do start to nurture quite the bank account, and quite the opposite for Narvi. So the AWP is uh, an unavailable option, given the fact that no one could uh, provide that. Flamey could go glass cannon if he so desires, but let's see that again from Hampers' POV, because even though they're not the prettiest of frags, this is within the chaos and necessity. He does manage to clean it up nice, neat, and tidy. So it's time for the weapon rounds. So just for those who aren't too familiar with the whole Lecro Hampus change, Hampus came in because he's a ride or die in-game leader, somebody that wants to be an in-game leader, where Lecro picked it up. AC. Oh, we're on B already. Yeah, Rez is going straight through the molly, straight ahead. Good flash, Perfecto's down. Nort can be a little MVP for that one. But the barrel still contains Flamey, but the flame is extinguished. What a sight take. Yeah, that's so fast. Look at Boomich, he's shaken. With just 20 HP, a bullet in his dome already. He's been forced to retreat. Electronic can't really contend with this. A resmoke on Heaven buys them enough time. They have to accept the lower approach or the save. That's the two options they've been given, and it does seem like it will be the latter. Save what little they can after putting all of their peanuts into that round. So that's going to be putting NIP at four. I want a quick recap of the um, the, the whole veto as well, Chad. So this was obviously NIP's pick. The train. response was train from yeah. RV, and we get that... Nuke is the third. Nuke is the third. Wonderful. Okay, cool. So lots and lots of Counter-Strike ahead of this series. So I, I just want to be showing somebody... Somebody? Everybody. Anyone. Anyone who wants to watch. Anyone who's interested. <laughs> what NIP just ran into here on this B bomb site. Now you think, oh yeah, we know it's a, a lowish gun round. They don't have all the utility. They don't have all the goodies. But guess what? They had all the players. So we're going to bring Skybox up for everybody. We don't even need to play what's going on here. Simple Heaven. Boomich has already rotated over. They're here at the start of the round. One towards short and one towards barrel. There were four players on the B bomb site right here and NIP just ran through them. So that is problematic. The player's not hitting the shots, dealing with the B rush. That's why you have a stack to be able to stop it. Oh, you're that bang on there, Chad. I hadn't caught just how many were ready for that. And if you're if your B stack, your answer to them hitting B is already working and being run over by NIP, that is concerning. And they can do whatever they want now. They can look into any other page of the strap box. Simple wants some more peaks, but their flashes have contained him. Every time he's flirted with some CT aggression, he's had a white screen and a reluctant tut of his tongue. Looks like NIP are quite well prepared, it feels. They seem quite assured. I mean, we are 4-0 up to the good, of course. So, I mean, pinch of salt will have to see if it does continue this way. I want to see what they do. What's the new look here? What's the new approach? Surely this isn't just Na'Vi rinse and repeat. I want to see a bit of depth from them. But the meticulous approach, the sur surgical precision to the map does seem to be applying throughout for NIP, taking territory, but taking their time, but also not taking the bomb. Oh, can we cut to Hampus again? He looks like a changed man. He looks so good. Handsome boy. Yeah. I love those glasses. I want a pair. Uh, you've you've complimented two circular frames. I like them. I've been you... I've been eyeing them up. Gunner, if you got any. Yeah. Unless you wanna get circular. <laughs> Electronic. He's been a real thorn in the side of many a team in toilets, but for now, it does look like he'll accept. Oh, Plopsky, that's ambitious. Wants to take the duel on short, and it is Boomich. Quick to draw blood. That's the first blood for Navi. Maybe time for a shift of pace for the ninjas. Forty seconds. They're gathering monster hampers to lurk. Boomich has a responsive smoke, likely going to deploy that to isolate the site, isolate the jewels for Flamey's SMG. I imagine Boomich might want to throw it now. What are you waiting for? 25. Yeah, now we'll drop it. Electronics already caught one, but the three are oh. ready to give it their best shot. It just crept to the site, Alex. They're there. How the hell did that happen? Just needs twist now. A potential plant. Simple, however, with the scout bomb to be retrieved. 10 seconds. A bomb plant is something. But look at Perfecto. He's charging. He even fakes it with eight seconds left. And that will convert into a Na'Vi round. A team ace as well. Everyone picking themselves up one. Did just contact Monster? Yeah. Now, the idea was that they had enough control over towards bathroom that it should be able to hold that rotation for as long as possible. But this opening from Boomich changed things, right? The fact that they couldn't maintain sewer control and that information was then given to Na'Vi, it meant they could turtle back up on the site. And that smoke that was thrown. We've highlighted that in the past before from Na'Vi, normally electronic throwing it. But what it does is it corrals them up one side of the site, making it easier for the CTs to be able to deal with the push. And well done from Na'Vi there. They get their first round on the board, their second opening for the game, and we're back underway with the gun round. Mm, deep nade towards Nork there. That's going to sting a little, but I guess it's not the end of the world. Still got the AWP to play with. And Simple this time gets the upgrade himself. He's going to be sitting on the AWP too, so... What a fun prospect to see how that plays out. Electronic, again, he, it feels like he's so isolated, but I guess you've got Simple behind you, so you feel a little braver. He's playing alongside Toilets as well, so if his, his retreat 
well, now, guarded by Plopsky, Nork, Rez, they're all there, a flash in, he's going to respond in kind, I'd imagine, oh dear, a disaster for the ninjas in pyjamas, a quick double, they line up, and the spray control was absolutely phenomenal. Simple can clean this now. He's going to sweep into Nork and... Okay, that frag keeps NIP in it. And if Electronic walks through the smoke, the patience is rewarded. Suddenly, they're back into the round here, Lauren. I question the need to peek long, but I guess he wanted to try and help out. Deny the threat that was building. But now, as said, the 3v3. Boomich. No. Oh, no. That's, that's a tragedy. That's not a good one. That's a problem. Switch up on the old AWP. Low HP picks it up. Two kills. You've already done your value there, Hampus. Don't you worry. But now they hit the brakes for a second. They've got 37 seconds to make something out with. Molly goes in. Both players are on the site. Flamey's there. He gets up close. He's taken down two of the hardest hitters. Flamey fully blind. He's done well to get away. Hampus so low, the USP can do enough, and oh my goodness, just by a Nat's wing, they survive 15 HP between the two of them that remain. And Perfecto can finish this one off. The spray's not there. Nork, so precise. And that is a five versus, well, three, squandered by Na'Vi. Oh, the nades there were absolutely heroic. This though, this from Boomich, he gets away with 4 HP and look what he continues to do. If Boomich kills, that's the face I'm pulling. That's exactly the same face I'm pulling after that one. And then RV fans probably going to be a little less satisfied with that one. Ninjas in pyjamas take the fifth and it is going to be the quasi by just investing about half of their schmeckles. I haven't heard that one in a while. To throw out a mix one, quasi nitro is the name in my uh, recent fragging. You really upset me, so on uh, recently. Ooh, double stack towards underpass, yeah, hold on. Bite your tongue. I'll uh, be upset about it in a second, Hampus. It's not burning, boom, it's lucky. Yeah, kind of surprised and probably as simple with that sort of peak. Um, head's gone. This double stack towards underpass feels like it's been felt out potentially. Maybe the nades coming in or something's given away a little bit of an indicator there. Like in my it's super simple version of Counter-Strike in the world I live in, it's like, okay, deagles, close corners, where do I not want to be? connector. Where do I want to be? Long. Those jewels feel much more favorable to Feels my AK-47. And so it makes a lot of sense just logically as to where you might want to be walking with your weapons. This is info though. At the very least, this is a boatload of info. You can see oh, he doesn't have a clue. So An electronic could yeah, get spotted here. I think Hampus just got the notification on one. I don't think he knows Boomich though. Oh, did him. he get four by three? No, looks like he's reacted. Oh, Boomich does catch him. And so now an AK has fallen into enemy hands. Potential problems here. I don't think he saw that guy cross on the right side. He seemed a little, maybe seeing the first, but all of that aside, we do have a bomb plant. Four of them kind of locked in. These post plants aren't brilliant, but obviously the rifles, the armor, everything else looks good. Boomich is really the only danger man here. Flamey so low. Just not being given much to play with. Plopsky's denied anything. He was trying to build through bank, and there it is. Shut down in the end, but I'm not sure how him Hampus missed that second one there. Uh, the first one, excuse me, not the second. It could have been a real problem because they were locked in on the site there, but they dealt with it well. They used their utility as the CTs would to corner off Na'Vi coming in for this retake. But you can see what I'm talking about in their thoroughness. The fact that you're down in bank, you can control the rotations from those positions. And a lot of teams would throw the front wall of sight smokes and then try and plant and then play retake from the toilets. What we've noted with NIP in the past, they love to get the sight control. That makes the retake for the CTs even harder. And if there are quick flanks, well, you basically negate those right there. Navi will be calling their first tactical timeout here of map number one. And you can see the money on the left-hand side of your screen. Perfecto has enough to drop an AWP over towards Simple. He definitely needs the big green in his hands to deal with this long play. Which is this map stand classically with Na'Vi classically? In, in, in fine form and in current form in your mind. So it, it, look. it's not a bad one or is it, you know what I mean? Like I just want the general idea of is a 6-1 start, a good T-side against them a problem or is this fine? It, it's not a problem because Na'Vi, they would continue to go for these kind of half buys and they're able to pull off a gun round based off of individual performance and then swing a game off of that. But on the T-side is where they get really gritty. When they win their force buys, when they win those low buys, they can get back into the game and start snowballing off of their individuals. But it's the B-Rush again. Straight in and Perfecto Spray gets completely whiffed. Flamey dunks. We've seen some great work from him on this position before, but he smoked off and then it's kind of ignoring him. What's going on there? Rez flipping around his nades. Now keeping the man advantage in favor of Na'Vi. Rotate coming in viciously. He hasn't seen anyone. He's waiting for the call. Hampus hiding with the bomb. It gets hunted and it works out. Hampus dunk down to 39. A dink as well. Twist eliminated. This round is... Not How is Hampus doing this? A lock-in. I don't understand. It felt like they had the, re the rotate and the info. And Fall again, back. here comes the pause. This is like the pistol all over again. And, and they took this site 
against a stack, bear in mind, we've seen as well. That was just, I think, flamey there. But let's see what they do. As you said, they've paused. Last time that did draw that little seed of doubt, but simple electronic, I don't know if they're going to wane in their conviction. It looks like electronics investigating. Whoa. But naught could be on the case. And we've seen this gun looking like a shotgun rather <gasps> than all. That's a barrel, and that's a body. And now simple in the 1v2. Chance for the first, and Nork knocked. 39 seconds. Hampus, he's done so much. He's got a smoke for bridge. Simple oh. just nice straight through it. They're going to walk and meet. Simple doesn't have to sweat at all. What a perfect read. And the star of Na'Vi pulls home their second round. A necessity at this point. Opening kills led by the boys from NIP by a large margin, but it's the closing kill from Simple. This was how Hampus did it. Great shots. Blood. Yeah, Nork there, not expecting another player to be on the site, especially over towards Rafidi and Nampus. Trying to be a little bit cheeky with it, walking through his own smokes right there. Gets caught off guard, but the buy will come back out. NIP, a little bit hamstrung, three Galils and a Deagle in play. And that Molly, well, it's short. Oh, that's a perfect flash. Electronic, brave as hell, just standing his ground. He knows there was no threat of a fight. What's his timing? Is it a flash? I'm looking at the mini-map. I see f Ooh. no flash for simple. Boomich has something pinned. It is a flashbang. They're coming from long side. The flash won't really aid. That's probably why he's being so resisted. That was it. There's nothing there. I hate it. I hate like 50-50 peaks where mm. you really can't cover both without some sacrifice. But I guess you've got some faith in it. But they have lost long control. Yeah. yeah. Electronic has done this a couple of times. He's playing these weird off angles. He played it in the toilets when he got the kill against Rez to pick up the AK on that force by round. And now here. It's a bit different look from Na'Vi. Oh, wow. What? I can't believe Rez hit those shots. He was so wide. Does manage to go down to simple all the same, though. Electronic trying to keep the wolf from the door. Hampers the long lurk. And with Boomich only on the FAMAS, it could be the Achilles heel of this. He's got a lineup for us. Mm. Got a couple for us. I keep pretending I remember these. I know. It's welcome to impressive. Mike. Welcome to the club. I was uh, like, oh, it's something on this wall, but... And that's nah. a perfect bank smoke. Bloody hell, give me some of these. Make they me just boost. know them. Can they? Yeah, over it might the be truck. gray screen though. Nope, it's perfect. You're bang on, Chad. Won't be able to contest the plant, but he's very exposed on Twist Jiggle. These nades from Na'Vi have been fantastic, but the spray isn't. His teammate moves. He got the inaccuracy. 3v3 for the retake. Still game on here. Not much util to work with, and Twist taking down Electronic. It's looking pretty dead in the water here. Flamey and Perfecto hoping for something, but Hampus pushed up, being aggressive, playing almost contact on it. He is having a game and a half. These are valuable kills Hampus is in getting. And Flamey, what do you have left to do here? Yes, they're low HP. You imagine you could do something, but honestly, with no kit? Nah. Uh, saving the MP9 is a curious one as well. It's not the greatest weapon to be taking forward. Better than nothing. So he will do his best to hold on to this one, and he has some Kevlar behind it. But this is uh, the problem. Na'Vi not being able to put multiple rounds together is going to hamper them hugely. They have roughly 3k on the majority of their players. There's the opening from Simple, but he was pinned. And you can see here, Hampus making the most of knowing that boost came in. Able to deal with the bank play. And the frustration, you can see it from Simple here. Honestly, Hampus is... Having a having a game. He He's on 14 kills. 14 to 5 now. Yes. He really is uh, buckets and spades above the rest. Let's see what this stack has in favor for Na'Vi. Basically a full five-man B stack with Electronic coming down connector here, ready to pincer the through the sewer. So he's going to have to deal with Plopsky first. I will bet you... Oh, I was going to say the Molotov or, or clear it. That looks like a perfect one. Electronic has to give him the sound cue and bounds his way to safe haven. They weren't desperate to push him or frag him necessarily, but they've got their uh, territory for free. They won't be complaining about that. I'm surprised they didn't try and push, but I guess the Molly might have you know hindered them too. But I said maybe just don't want the risk. I guess they could have been a crossfire on the stairs. Very safe play, but for now T's taking the time. There, there really is no hurry in this. It feels they've kept some util back, a great deal of smokes, a Molly or two here and there, so they can play it late. They can draw out all the very limited util from the CTs, and by the time it's hit the site, feel it out. They've picked the right site if they go this way. Look at this, always as a group, like the wolf pack of NIP. Across the map together, utility always on point. There's the arm of electronics showing. The smoke will drop now. Oh, man. Whoa, it's a full execute. It's just gray screens or flames. The options that Na'Vi have been given. The flash would have been perfect had anyone pushed. Three members of them doing the flashbang dance. You can see the... Oh, caught with the pin, but Hampus babysits. 
And everything's fine. Everything returns to normality. It looks like NIP are on for a spotless, a flawless eighth round on the T side of their map pick here. Frustration starting to rise. The saved MP9 not able to contribute a dime. Wow. This is impressive from NIP. I mean, their track record, they hadn't picked up a single win overall against Na'Vi, right? But obviously Nine this zero, could be yeah. a lot of historical relevance to that. Simple, still trying to do a bit of damage. But yeah, I, I think the way you describe them as kind of that wolf pack working through, you know, everything. And I've got to say, Hampus, bit of a bit of a Fenrir, the way he's approaching it. It's been it's been fun to watch him play Ooh. so far. And, and what a progression from when I saw him last. Truly uh, bigger picture. Oh, oh no. <laughs> He's having a nightmare. Oh dear, Simple's not going to be happy with that. He didn't know where he was going to stand to avoid the bomb blast. This <laughs> is that Molotov to kick things off that pushed Electronic out of position. Wow. Yeah, I'm ju just double checking it. But yeah, this year, just using this year to keep right. the sample size more, more feasible. They have lost in the three best of threes they've faced off against each other. NIP haven't taken a map. The wow. closest they've come was a 16-14 on both Nuke and uh, a Mirage at 16-13. So we've yet to see an NIP victory just on a map, never mind a series this year up against Na'Vi. So have been somewhat of their nemesis. Rez is on for a contact walk here. Ooh, smokes it. That might be the instigator for the walk though. Expecting it for now. Three of them oh, with pins what? pulled and that could be the response they were hoping for. Stack nades on the boost. No one's home. Perfecto spotted. Oh, he's stuck now. Can't leave. I mean, they're, they're, they're holding though. I, I love this. No rush. Uh, this is where suddenly Na'Vi can find That's different. gap. There's no gap here. Rez is covering the flank as well. Flawless in execution at this point in time. He can't call space clear. The rotate's still a threat. And they can just press pause. There's no way out for NIP though. So if they lose one here to a straggler, somebody over peaks. Isn't connector the route out? Yeah, yeah there's no one there. It, well, Electronic's in connector. Yeah, but, but they know he's there. All right, well, Swap's dealt with him here. It shouldn't Ugh. have been that easy, but now A is completely <laughs> open. The rotation comes in. The race is on. Who will make the quicker steps? As we can see, Boomich on his way. Simple, not sure where he wants to go. And I love that paranoia. They've done so many of these hits where they hold. They just so double back. Blue. They have really made these boys paranoid that they don't know where to go. And now to you can't do anything. <laughs> it's over. NIP are playing them like a damn fiddle. They really are. This is so frustrating. Like. You the, the, the choice to go on simple there, Rush, helped us understand the dynamics that Navi are going through because you've got your star player who you obviously want to be putting on the site you think is being hit. They're making so many steps towards B and he's still, still keeping his body firmly planted on that B site. Not interested in the A rotate just yet. They're even hunting them a little bit. Yeah, and they should. With it. They know one's graffiti. Where's simple hiding that orb? That's the one I'd be, that's the priority target I'd be looking for. He's down there as well. They found two then. Got mollies. There's simple filling the. They found all three technically. Oh, oh, oh he's still saving the orb. The bomb radius brings him down to 13. Oh. The wallbang will not find him. Okay, wow, that is exciting. Nine to two, ladies and gentlemen, to start off our seventh day of ESL One Cologne. I missed Rush. Like I know you. It's kind of like you know one of my friends went to uni. He got some cool new uni friends, and then comes back to his hometown. Like always, oh, grown up. But yeah. it's nice to have him back. So yeah, I mean, I, I remember you introducing me to Rush before he even worked for ESL. He was a uh, he was a day Alma Alma. Yeah, little arm. Very good with the RP Rush. The RP. He loves a bit of RP. He does. Uh, I've heard, I've heard he's got some strong suits in role play. Oh yeah. Well, double orbs is uh, the role play that Navi are going for right here. Flamey will be being, picking up this second AWP over towards the B side of things, and he didn't even get to shoot a shot. Twist takes him out of the equation early, and now, once again, NIP with an opening frag. N Navi on the back. Is that an orb? Yeah. That was, that was the $7,000 of goodies just oh. squandered, and Perfecto's added to the list. Nork. Onto Perfecto, Boomich will recover. Perhaps it's not all in vain. Look at the aggressive stance from Electronic. No trade. He has to be a turret and well, Hampus, we know what he's been capable of today. 16th frag found here in round 12 as they do make a beeline straight for the A site. The bomb very much behind. This could be a problem if Boomich can catch this, uh, who is it, twist. That's the only way they would have had a shot. Unfortunately, it looks like Twist is knife out. Boom, it's quite the opposite. They've waited for him as well. This is a team that is a perfectly coordinated uh, roster of five at this moment in time. Good luck retaking with two AWPs on the A site when they have bank control. They should start chasing already. What is Boomich thinking? He's trying to What's hide this? in plain sight. The 
I'm getting nervous for him. Might want to try and back away. Yeah, he's thinking about it. <laughs> and now look at Rez. He ain't that far away either. Yeah, no. No, I didn't, what even, is going didn't even get on? the Jaws theme going. He's already dead. Chad, you were telling me great things about Na'Vi. You were saying, what are you, oh, uh, brilliant. No. I love this player. They're so consistent. I've had I'm two right. teams that have excited right. me this year. The first one was Na'Vi after Katowice. And I said to myself, I actually right. said on broadcast something quite audacious, and I won't make any statements like them ever again. I said something about there being like a new new world order of Counter-Strike. Uh, uh, it hasn't, no. hasn't panned out that way. <laughs> uh, but NIP, with all these roster changes, was a team that I got really excited about, and I thought they could become a top five, top three team in the world. I asked about Lecro yesterday? Or well, I just got really sad when I saw them on Vertigo, one of their better maps, losing to Big handedly. I got sad, I, and I also like to make some jokes. You turned into a fan. You turned into the oh, normal fan. Yeah, but... Sees one bad result, goes out and flames them. Some people like to laugh, oh. Lauren, and I like to be the clown. <laughs> we all clowns He's, here. Chad. We are the court jester. Yeah. And the world is everything else. You can do <laughs> cartwheels. I can almost do a handstand. Lauren, what can you do? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Okay, well, maybe that's a skill in itself. Yeah. Oh, that's, that feels kind of nice, I guess. Sometimes the best action is inaction. God, I used to get mocked for these statements and have, like, you know, the motivational calendar. Now it's you. Motivational calendar. Literally, it's just, it was, you know, it is what well, it's it is. either that or dad jokes. What do you want? Give us a dad joke then. Um, hmm. How about I give you a round to think of it? Okay. Really throw something around and come up with something good. Yeah. Have you guys been enjoying the food here? The food? Yeah. yeah it's certainly sustenance. Mm. No argument there. Yeah, I'm not really a, a massive fan of the, the German sausages they've got. They're the worst. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even hit around. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa! Claps and chat. Is that all right? Simple, perhaps not, though. In for a fright. If he goes for the repeat, Campus, an uncharacteristic failure. Straight out monster loses the duel to the MP9 and gives Navi a leg up. And you can see the reaction. Simple and electronic beam straight back to the site. They don't need to be aggressive anymore. The pick is theirs. But Rez. He's knifing out, is trying to gather ground. He knows Simple's going to take a cursory glance, but if he's at this close wall, yes, 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 yes. This is a chance for Rez here. A wide swing, a pre-fire, uh, but Nork walks straight into the pixels. Oh, okay. It's Simple. Just making it look just that. Beautiful shots, locking down the long presence. Well, we've had it. We've had the need a bit of individual brilliance to win you around. There we go. We'll, we'll put a little tick in the box for Na'Vi. Uh, under the assumption that Twist and Plopsky don't do anything. I feel with Electronics positioning, Twist is dead. Unless something goes again terribly wrong. Doesn't. Nicely done. Plopsky can trade it out, but now the 1v4 begins. And, and a little, little cheeky nade, just to make it make it trickier. Um, and obviously Simple standing there with 22 HP, even yeah, though it's low. Why is he standing there? It's, I don't know. It's he, Simple. He knows he can click first. He yeah. does. It's nice to have that faith in yourself, I'm sure. So two of the three rounds here that Na'Vi have won so far have come with Simple getting multi-frags, if that's going to put things into context for you. Now, he is the best player in the world, as per my opinion, but it has been tapering off in recent times because, well, Na'Vi are struggling to be competitive. They have had some time off, as has everybody, but the loss against Complexity the other day was uh, quite a harsh one to swallow, I imagine, for the Russian slash Ukrainian camp. They still have an opportunity here to net five, and that could be enough if they win the pistol and start to bound back in the second half. The AWP is still in Simple's hands, and you can see here looking for that four-man boost. Won't be coming into play this round, but contact towards Monster yet again. Feels like Flamey started to wake up, though, here. Feels like they're starting to become aware of this. The four players posted up towards B, the... Great deal of nades. I love these kind of small pieces. They're all considering because maybe tendencies they've noticed. Yeah, and what the what the conversation I'm trying to piece together here of the, the fact that they're throwing those three nades is that it did force Simple to have a look, right? They know that, that, that that's enough to say there's 3B and have enough Whoa. paranoia. Electronic aggression, though. It does manage to net him one and info that they are rotating. Simple will have to fill the gap. Bomb still spotted towards playground. And I'll be putting that back on the ground, maybe even putting it into the healthy Nork. It looks like we're going to see an aggressive move towards short here. This is for info. Na'Vi sweeping through water, calling it clear, which leaves Simple solo on this long side for now. Rotates coming in from Flamey. Oh, the wow. boost is very naughty. Na'Vi, one of Simple the... Simple knows oh, it! He's looking for it! And he sees the tip of his head! Hello? And he pulls the trigger, Nork dead. That's glorious. Of all the teams to do it against, it's one of the very few who did it first. 
Now Flamey eats a flash, perhaps to still bite in the NIP 20 seconds here. They won't be able to get it down. Simple robotic in his adjustments. And it is four. Double kill again. You said multi-kills from Simple. Well, the trend continues. Three out of four ain't bad. That's a pretty good stat line to have for him right there. This one looks like uh, looked a bit odd, right? It's funny that he didn't notice the head earlier, but for Nork, for those people who are, why didn't he see him? How come he couldn't see Simple there? Obviously the hedge was in the way, but that's also not going in for a left eye peek. Uh, we've been talking about that a bit more in recent times for everybody. The camera in Counter-Strike is mounted on the right side of the head. So if you're jiggle peeking corners, jiggle the right side, ladies and gentlemen, not the left. Yeah, that's uh, the, the amount of times you die in your life, I didn't even see him. It probably felt like the Nork just there. It's because of that left eye peek. Door, sprays it, Boomich has got his routines ironed out, but nobody succumbing to it just yet. In fact, if three of them continue to take control of this connector, it's good pressure from water, it's good for the execute. I'm seeing a whole lot of nades from NIP. How do they plan to structure this? There's plenty of time left on that clock, but they're going in relatively dry, and the SMG drives by. Simple. Oh, he could be in trouble. Down to nine. He is finished off. And all oh. on electronic as Nork's connected on his dig. This chaos from NIP has converted into a potential round win. Only electronic to clutch. Okay. Oh, oh there was some venom in there. Yes, not yep. keepers. Damn it, that's an accountant. Either way, we are into it. Myself, Pansy, and Sponge ready to see if NIP can do what they haven't been able to this year and maybe even run into a series with it. It's oh. Rez taking down the hardest hitter. Puts Michael Jordan on the bench for the pistol. Oh, was that it, a team dink? It might have been. Otherwise, that was a very good shot from the T side. I don't know if that was the case. Uh, but um, oh. right about it. He actually hit him. Yes. But um, yeah, nice beginning, but not over yet. Damage being done to Hampus and Plopski kind of keeps this very much competitive. Just really important to note here, Nork and Twist, the two B defenders right now, both have HEs. So this could either be for the B plant if it comes in or retaking A to stop the plant on that A bomb site. It's so clear. Flame is going to be calling for something. Yeah, they are on their way. Smoke's flying through the sky as well. This HE, as you discussed, Chad, is about to play a very big part in this. They're waiting for the sound cue. They could get trigger happy with this. Wait for it. Wait for it. Biding their time, avoiding the molly. Now is the time. Pull the pins and electronic. And in. Oh. Down to 2 HP. My god. It's something, and the round far from over, but they're low too. Hampus and Plopski gonna have to be the sacrificial lambs. These trades have to be so perfect from the CTs. You know that Plopski and Hampus are gonna fall at this point, but how do they do it? And does it set you up for success? No, oh, it yeah. absolutely doesn't. It's a huge shutdown. Perfecto, Electronic. Those two are just kind of the final piece of this. And to be fair, yes, the scoreline did look con condemning, but Navi came online at the end. Simple side oh. away, bloody hell. Oh, that's... I told you I'm going to use the P2K from now on. Okay. See what Rez is doing with it? Yeah, I, I do. And we were talking about it last night on uh, the Hedge TV Confirmed podcast. It's actually statistically a very good pistol. Yeah. It doesn't feel as good. No, and it doesn't... You know, the heads don't feel like they explode like watermelons all the time. No. That's what happens with the USP. But speaking of USPs, we don't have any on the board right now. It's going to be two scouts, two deagles, a 5-7 of Doom that's been uh, getting a little bit more popularity in recent times and a light sprinkling of utility, but there's one of those scouts ringing through early, doing some damage towards Boomich. Hmm. Where's pushing back into the... Did he catch Did he get that? the timing? So, Rez? I have to get a wiggle on here. His teammates are pushing water, and yeah, that's unfortunate timing for Twist, just as he was clearing his close corners. Another tag. Flamey and Boomich both caught by the scout, and there's the conversion. You can see how the, there's legs to this second round force buy from the CTs, but they're speeding up. Nork has to uh, find at least one here, but it's simple. The spearhead, as outlined, does charge into the site and eliminate any of that threat. So this is a flying start for Na'Vi. This is exactly what they wanted, just a save for Plopski and on the uh, MAC-10 armor. We'll see the scout armor for Rez preserved. And this will be two to zero after their... Uh, woes in the first half. Hampus was the first death those last three rounds of the half. So it's interesting that when we lose Hampus, it was much quicker to be to see a Na'Vi conversion. Something to keep our eye on if there is a trend to be outlined there. That's SEO keeping his finger on the statistic pulse. It's important that they hold on to these saved weapons here. So Rez, he'll tag up Electronic and make him think better of the chase. And you can see Plopski on the right-hand side of your screen down the bottom there has the MAC-10 equipped, but secondary will be a Deagle. So he can drop either of those across to one of his teammates. They can go into the next round with three weapons mm. strong. 
And it's not the worst buy in the world, especially if Rez can be quite mobile with that little scout, the baby orb. Very, very agile. You just get a tag to the body, do roughly 70 damage, then your pistols are able to mop on up. But it's finding those tags that is very important. You can see here, this is what I was talking about. There's no more excuse of not being together. There's no more excuse of not being in the same room, not being able to pump each other up. Na'Vi and NIP, respectively, are both in boot camps right now. I mean, I think there's always going to be an excuse found if you look hard enough and you, you want to find one, but th th there shouldn't be, as said. Now, looking at this, did the D go across? Yes, Hampus has now picked that up, so nicely spotted. Flamey looking to make some cash, though. Yeah, it's very important if you are the likes of Nork and Twist that you don't die early. You want to allow your players with upgraded weaponry to find some impact, to find some tags before you drop. Play the numbers game. Right now, I know it's an eco round, but it's still a 5v5. Electronic has taken a lot of long control here. That has applied pressure and forced out the rotation. Rez with another shot goes missing. So that's three scout bullets this round yet to find any damage. And Na'Vi across the rest of the map, they're just doing a default comb. Only an attempt from Plopsky trying to catch the timing as they cleared that close corner. And Rez still getting overwhelmed and through the smoke, Electronic will make this one look relatively open and shut. Hang on. Back to B. That's where only a USP, maybe he can just, yeah, stare anti-flash for a moment, try and double dink the plant. It's not like he's going to get a chance. And now, yeah, Plumich opens that one up, pulls another nade out of the Na'Vi arsenal. Bomb has been planted. Yeah, just damage here, the name of the game, if you are NIP. You can't really go for a round like this. The AK save for Hampus could be huge. Allowing them to have a little bit more utility going into the first gun round of the second half here. I don't know if Nork wants to hold on to this scout. He could ply it on the CT side and, and still try and use it like an AWP. Obviously then needing to go for headshots if he wants to have the same impact. But relatively clean from Na'Vi. And one of the things that Na'Vi can do quite well is their T sides because they're trading, their fundamentals are good and their individuals are great. You know, they can get multi-kills galore. The CT sides, I tend to think it's a little bit more volatile for them because they go for more force buys and more half buys than a lot of other teams. And then they do rely on those individuals to get the multi-kills. Teams are getting so good now, as everybody can imagine, with the utility usage, the pop flashes, the punishing in that regard, that... Well, Na'Vi, they can't get away with their old tricks as often anymore. Things are starting to slow down here for NIP. So this first gun round, they need to make a bit of a statement. It's that Deagle shot from Hampus, punishing Simple. Simple's had a bit of a rough go of it in these first three rounds. The pistol round, getting his head taken off by Rez, and their Hampus has just done the same. The fist bumps will come in. So we're getting this one underway. What type of buy are we looking at here? AWP for Rez has the spawn. He's holding the nerve and just second shy. Awesome good util out. Flamey taking a chunk of damage early as well. I believe that was from a nade of Twist. I've seen teams even underhand a nade for that corner, so he is at risk. <laughs> Trying to get him. A little bit of a spam coming through, it looks like. We're still kind of on track towards toilets for now. I mean, it could all very much change depending if they have success, but Nork is still posted up. We do have Rez there, kind of the simple and electronic on the seen. other side. He's been seen 100%. Boomich is going to call that out. Simple gets ready. They don't want to take too many risks. Sim oh. Trades work out well, but losing simple, it's quite the scalp for Rez to find. 50 seconds for the Na'Vi T side. No armor for Nork. Electronic is long on his own right now, and the other three are posturing over towards the B side of things. So Molotov out from Connector, that's going to keep two players planted on the B side. With 35 seconds left, Navi can stay in limbo. Oh. Didn't see him twist, that was unfortunate. Just narrowly missing out on his window to punish. Now numbers favoring Navi, and they can go anywhere they want. Smoke, Flash, Plopsky, and his partner in crime gonna be at risk here, and he's so blind, he doesn't even get to pull the trigger. Hampus had a chance. Nort connected onto Electronic elsewhere, so now it's all onto him. And that rotate's coming in thick and fast. Flamey, close with the Mac 10 Nork just thinking better of it, realizing that that is too much of a risk and too prize of a possession. Let's not forget, no armor. That Mac 10 could shred him, and he is going to potentially catch Flamey on that hunt. So that's a nice relief. An extra 100 bucks for him to uh, treat himself to something nice. I still think Orcas are a bit hard done by. I know the AWP is, is so powerful, but a $100 kill reward? Come on. Come on, Gabe.
Like, give us a something. flashbang every kill instead. Yeah. That's something. The thing is, if you get an, an, an ace with the AWP, you get $500. Yeah. We don't want 500 bucks. I, I can't even celebrate. Like, I can't even buy a full util set of the acing with an AWP. You're not dropping anybody anything. Oh, I can't even drop you a deagle. All right. So now we're starting to get into a competitive landscape. The scoreline 11 to 8 in the favor of the ninjas in pajamas. Hampus, with that AK that was saved in the previous, he's had his money bolstered. That was 7k. He actually has picked up a secondary orb. Yes. That was simple again. So, you know, we've been talking about him having a rough go of it. Yeah. To, to get the chadism correct. That's the third time That's now? the third time. It's Rez as well, who first blew his head off with the P2K on his party aggression. <laughs> now he got a call from his in-game leader saying he's close toilets. He's walked in, got his head blown off. Whoa, okay. Hampus was trying a very spicy wall bang, but just the one. Nork catching a bottle on the chin. That's never fun. No. Sounds like a night in uh, Dog Swamp chat. <laughs> Mate, there's nowhere to go out in Dog Swamp. Maybe you to. <laughs> Simple will be smoked off. Pushing for long info. It's going to be Rez who'll swing wide and call it clear. Can now pivot back towards toilets and be closer to respond. Hampus, I love the angle he's adopted here. It will be the first closest line to an Inquisitive Flaming. And a bing. Not quite. Back in and away. Loads of time, and the bomb's loose B-side. So Na'Vi are starting to spread their approach. Let's not forget it's only pistols and those two orps. So, ideally, the boys from NIP need frags before the execute. This is going to get tricky. They're trying to play up towards Monster. That's a bit of a success, but it's traded on, and that's nice from Simple. B's looking extremely vulnerable. Down to the orp with Hampus, and even then, they've barely made the site here. They just kind of walk towards Monster on the other side was the bigger Monster himself. Simple. So... Campus <laughs> trying to get involved, but what can you do about this? I mean, he's kind of dedicated towards the site now, too, so he's not really backing away from it. Now we have a bad habit. And the bad habit is running down that clock when they shouldn't, because suddenly, a 2v4, if you've got an AWP poised on the banana position at 25 seconds, two kills, and suddenly this round gets awkward and you can't plant. Nork has potential here. You need the first cleanly. That's not it. Perfecto saves the day for Na'Vi. Hampus should probably try and hold on to this. Now, in the next round, they will get the max loss bonus of 3,400, so he will be able to buy. But keeping up the AWP means he can drop it to Nork. And they can keep their defense looking relatively potent. But so far, yet to post a round here on this CT side. Just a general question, Lauren. Do you prefer Hampus's AWP or Simple's one? I need a new skin. I've got, I, I, I like the, the snaky boy. The snaky boy. That's nice, but I also like the, the kind of doogie. Okay, hang well. on. Get out of the shadow, Hampus. Someone give him a nudge. We know you're trying to stay I'm alive. Trying to, trying to survive like it's ESO one Cologne or something. Ash, up the gamma. <laughs> Bang it up. Yeah, it's kind of got a dude's face on it. It's kind of like samurai, kind of Japanese characters. I got the one they with all the cats cheap. on it. It does look a bit kind they of... both look a bit oh, Okay. Oh, Christ, oh, Hampus. what? Well, you got a kill. Okay. All right, I guess you don't have an orb. I didn't You're quite get to catch that. I was looking deep into Lauren's eyes, but this was where it started. You can see their aggression on Monster. Had Boomich not taken down one, and Simple not caught Plopsky with nades in his hands. Well handled in the end, and it was Perfecto's frag that did keep them safe. Nork knew he had a chance to do impact there, and you can see frustrations building. What was a uh, very dominant half. It was 11 to 4 now, five rounds consecutively into our second half of our first map here on the seventh day of ESL 1 Cologne. We're into the nitty gritty, folks. Boost. This could end badly for Flamey, but the smoke keeps him safe. Looking to potentially see Rez meet Electronic here on a very solo adventure. Ah, yeah, yeah. He goes for it wide. Oh, Flamey. Flamey's been playing this area like, a, like an animal. He's actually been really, really hard for them to handle. Now, the issue being, obviously, is that bomb. Uh, a little bit hard to recover. It can be picked up without losing life because you can go all the way around, which is what Boomich is doing, but it is a bit of a nuisance to deal with. You could have been quicker off the trigger if, if had you'd kept it on you, but for now, Boomich, a little high flash, has to go through the motions of clearing this, doesn't know if they're pushed up or being annoying, but it's nicely hidden under the, the kid slide. Yes, that's not really you a great remember place. Remember the word for slide, could you? It's been that long since you've actually Slippery seen dip. one. We yeah, it's not a word you often say, is it? No. Slide. <laughs> Sand pit. Swing. So right now, Plopsky's the only one over towards this B-bomb site. The rotation will need to come in, and that smoke that we've just seen go over towards Monster was thrown by one of his teammates in CT spawn. But the two heavy hitters, Electronic and Simple, are out of the Here equation. Flying through, Molotovs aren't too much of a problem. Plopsky gets it clean. Huge win. 
that was massive for him. They needed that because honestly, Navi have been scary even in unfavorable scenarios, but the player's in the right place for once. Bobski and Rez hold it down and game back on for NIP. Honestly, they needed that though. It felt like they just were not in the game. Navi were running through them. Yeah, I mean, we, it's so much so that the opening kills, the multi-kills have all kind of leveled out after the dominant start. We're seeing 10 to 11 in opening kills, so NIP leading that by one over the course of these 21 rounds. Multi-kill rounds are looking a little more favorable to Nip, just picking themselves up their 16th multi-kill round, but it's 16 to 13, and a timeout, the third called by Na'Vi. Let's not forget the standard coaching rules apply. Blade on the microphone, and able to uh, have his chats with the boys. Seems from Plopsky as well, that was a necessary frag. It enabled his teammates to focus onto this double stack towards short 12. The first CT round found on NIP's map pick. Sorry, I got distracted. There was a fly, but I thought it was mosquito. I was, I was ready to kill. I have like six bites on me. All right, if I see something flying, I'm nervous. We'll get you some spray. Do you know what fly is in though? German? That's an easy one. Fliegel. 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 That's so cute. This is a very important round for the NIP boys here. If they're able to convert this, breaking that economy of Na'Vi, they will only get, be getting the 2400, I believe, in the following. Sorry, in the 1900, they've been reset all the way down. So it'll just be a partial buy for them in the next round if they're not able to get bomb planted here. People seem to think I say here funny. Yeah. 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 Everyone mocks me about that for some reason. Just an Australian thing. I don't think we've ever mocked you for it. I think you just brought it up and now people are going to be very aware of it. Ah, mm. damn. Ooh. Ooh. Breathing. Chad, where does your tongue typically rest in your mouth? Can you identify how your tongue normally rests in your mouth? Either way, I'll let you think about that while I focus Roof. on the commentary. Three man split for the B site, Flamey and Boomich will be smoked off again. That's going to put the clock down to about the last 30 seconds here. And there's still Util for days. They got flashbangs. As the Util starts flying in, the CTs, they should be able to just barrage with incendiaries and flashbangs. Here they come. 30 seconds. Na'Vi, I'm getting hell? nervous. Boomich is going to have to make a call with conviction here. What year is this? Is this Na'Vi running the clock down low? And now you're going to see NIP on the push. I like that being proactive on Monster. Oh. Putting down the lines of sight and the lines of attack. And look at this. Dismantling Na'Vi. It felt like they've been so potent and powerful, but now they leave themselves 15 seconds oh. and they haven't stepped on the site. But now they do. It's lo it was simple and it was electronic. Now, unfortunately, only electronic. I don't know what he can do here. Nork's holding the cross and with shots like that, it's only going to be a consolation. He won't really have a chance to get away. Twist will finish him off. And Na'Vi, bitten by that bad timing bug, puts them on to about 3k per player and 13, three away from map point. I'm going to see that from Flopsky again. As soon as you get that monster player, you, you call it clear, you know. With 20 seconds left, there's Molotov. They're running through it. They even see Hampus kill Flamey. That is the problem. They had so many nades for days that you can't bide the clock. Maybe Simple saying something of a similar sentiment. A calm way. Yeah, maybe more calm. The smoke towards monster, you get to follow that one looking perfection. A little off. But catching a glimpse of one playground, getting that early info, the CTs are poised for their 14th collection here. Good economy of utility there, similar to economy of words, but uh, words don't matter so much in a game like Counter-Strike. You can see these upgraded pistols. Three deagles, still very, very deadly, especially in the hands of Electronic and Simple here. If we're going to have a quick look at the scores as we're getting into this round, Simple in the doors. has 19 frags. Doesn't feel like it, does it? But he has 19 kills to his name. And then the next, he's 2YC, the second star. Electronic, we wanted it. He's got 92 ADR and 15 kills to his name. So don't consider this one done and dusted. This is a Na'Vi special. <laughs> You're absolutely bang on, Chad. And it's just when you write them out that they remind you what they can do. Still, seems like NIP a very regimented squad. So the chances for those Deagles to pop off usually exploiting players' mistakes. Well, it's this time Rez actively fighting for long control. The jump for info gets him something, but Rez, no sweat. And I like the fact that Nork had his back too. Just in case there was too much of a problem, hitting one Deagle could happen, two, probably not. That's nice from Twist, as you said. Shadow giving away the game gives him the angle, gives him the early bit of work, and they've got a the end here. Uh, Rez may be a little needless on it, but it feels like it's going to be shut down soon enough. 
All right, well, Simple only has 39.50 to his name right here, so potentially bought in a little bit too far in the previous, and he can't get an AWP unless Perfecto wants to go naked in this round. I don't, don't see a world where that one's happening. Very <laughs> unlikely. Very, very unlikely, unless he's getting the whole Adren treatment. Eric, drop me AWP. Drop AWP now. And uh, I don't feel that will be the case. So it will just be an AK-47 in the man's hands with a flash behind it. Galil's for Boomich and Flamey here. It's not the most potent of buys, whereas NIP have everything they want. On top early, extinguished. Hampus knows something could be coming quick. Hmm. It's like he waited for the extinguishers to accuse him. Yes, and now he could get undressed. No, Nork keeps him clothed. Good trade. Well, not even a trade. Good teamwork. And, and Nork is doing that on long as well. He's been a really nice kind of complementary element to the CT side, taking a couple more additional fights here and there, but you still have that backup in place. I like that. Sticking around. No chance, but simple. Punishing the missed shot. Bobski towards water. If he can tuck into the corner, he's got game... Unfortunately, he's lost res now, so this does start to favor Na'Vi here. If Flamey does a procedural clear, he gets caught, and a real chance for Plopski. He's trapped. He needs a headshot. Boomich and Perfecto hunting him down. He's got one bullet. One bullet in that M4. Yeah, I did reload as well. We're into a 3v3 here, but Hampus from behind could completely destabilize it all. Oh, his timing couldn't be better. That's bomb down, spots it. Probably knows there's more threats around does get simpled. I think there's no other way to put it. The man can just do it when he needs yeah. now. Plopski. He gets oh. oh! This is terrifying! I hate this round so much! Aggressing bank. Bombs being delivered by his teammate Perfecto. They know Plopski's on the flank. Twist is the unknown entity here, but simple he is sweeping through and he wants another. This time, the Swede says no. Perfecto can have have a chance at this clutch, but it's Plopski he has to find first. He's been hunted from two different angles and now he's taken them at the same time. That's 15 for NIP. Looks like they're about to break the streak of losses they've conceded here against Na'Vi in 2020. Their first map win is now just one round away. Just to make a note about Rez, we were speaking about him in the pregame. Well, SEO, our stats man, giving us a big one here. Rez has seven opening kills in this game so far. Looking for an AK? and only 15 kills in total. So his impact is definitely being felt here. We remember it from the pistol round on the CT side with that massive shot towards Simple. And this was what I liked early. Nork there making sure he could bail his team out, taking Electronic out of the picture. And with the 2,900 loss bonus that Na'Vi have had going into this round here and the bomb getting planted, we should be able to see a convincing buy, or at least a buy that is serviceable, right? It's not going to be perfect. They're not going to have everything. Lauren swatting away that bloody fly. It's hovering around the studio. This Molly early. That's going to give them a free bit of territory and make sure they don't nice. have to use a the smoke. They're really happy to take this space early and the spray through the smoke. He's even got nades for them. Perfecto could be in trouble. He dunks him. Rez, that is impressive. Now they're opening. Two kills. They're three frags away from taking this map, Lauren. I don't know what's happened. I. I know that there's still so much power on this Na'Vi side, and I, I'm desperate to see it. And for the first half of the T side, it looked good, but look at these crossfires. Hampus just keeping Plopski safe as soon as Flamey wanted to punish over by Monster, leaving Electronic in a 1v4. And no step anywhere, no bomb to hand, which now, looking at where we're seeing, I think it's Plopski push up to, he could find, p potentially. Um, and again, clearing all these corners going forward is such a tall task. It looks like map one's wrapped up. Yeah, Electronic's the only one that can uh, campaign to change our minds. You're right, though. Plopsky is responsible for that bomb. He doesn't know it yet. Now he does. We'll hit the brakes. And so poor old Electronic has to win this duel super cleanly. There's the first jiggle. And look at... Oh, okay. Well handled. Good moves from Plopsky. But as he descends, Hampus was there. And Electronic continues to race. show us why he is one of the stars of the Na'Vi show. Molly Barrels charging forward. Smoke for the cross. There's no one there. He's faking it out as well. Trying to catch Rez in rotation. The man is just playing 5D backgammon at this point. Nork staring at the smoke walk. As he read it, takes the step. Another smoke. Will plant within it. Electronic's playing a game here. He is playing a dangerous, deadly game. Now he has to plant. No two ways about it. They're closing in. And they're